President Muhammadu Buhari has issued a stern warning to those bent on destroying the country through violence and burning down of critical national assets, saying a root shock awaits those perpetrating the criminal acts very soon. The president issued this warning after he received a briefing from the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Ainek Mahmoud Yakubu, on the series of attacks on facilities of the electoral body around the country. Our correspondent, Abisola Adibayo, reports. The attacks on facilities of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is becoming one too many, especially in the southeastern part of the country. In one month alone, 11 offices of the commission have either been raised to the ground or vandalized, and in the last two years, its facilities have been attacked 42 times. After receiving reports of the attacks, President Muhammad Obrari says perpetrators of these attacks should expect the unexpected. Whoever wanted diversion or destruction of the system at this point I think we will soon have the shock of their lives. I think we have given them enough latitude. They have made their case. They just wanted to destroy the country. Simple. Because what do they want? We will treat them in the language they understand. So I, I feel for your understanding and so on. We are going to be very hard sooner than later. Meanwhile, these attacks have posed severe dangers to future elections in the country, especially the Anambra governorship polls, which is scheduled to be held in November this year. INEC says the situation might alter its plan for the exercise as most of the materials for the polls have been destroyed. The attacks are meant to compromise us, compromise our ability, compromise our capacity uh, to carry on with the elections. So the implication is that if we are unable to conduct the election, the president will now go to section 305 of the constitution and declare a state of emergency and issue a proclamation on what is going to happen. But the truth of the matter is that in that particular proclamation, the incumbent governor will have been out, the incumbent deputy governor will have been out, the speaker cannot take over because the constitution says that the speaker can only take over and complete the unexpired residue of the term of office of the incumbent. President Buhari has, however, allayed the commission's fears, saying all provisions will be made available to prevent any failure. And I assure you that... Um I will be willing, within whatever resources we have, to make sure we meet all your demands so that no excuse can be given for any failure, so that we don't give anybody excuse to blame us that we don't want to go or want to have a third term. Despite the incessant attacks, INEC says it is more determined to carry out its lawful duty of conducting free and fair elections in the country. Abisola Adibayo, TV360, Lagos.